This video is all about the Baba Yaga malware for WordPress that was discovered recently. WordFans did a white paper on it, how to find it, how to solve it, how to get rid of it. And they published that a month and a half ago that I'm going to show you in this tutorial or this video. And this is kind of a drop what you're doing and check this out and make sure your site's not infected before you do anything else today. Because this kind of malware basically destroys all the work you've done if you don't take care of it. So drop everything, drop what you're doing, check your site. I'll show you how to check your site in this video as well to see if it's maybe infected by this malware. And so let's get started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you like WordPress tips and tricks and like knowing about malware, when it's out there and coming for you, well, hopefully not, but out there and could infect your site and you want to know about it early, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon because I try to rush these tutorials about malware out as fast as I can whenever I notice them. And also hop into our Facebook page. There's a link in the description down below. Check that out where we also talk about malware when it comes up and a lot of other WordPress stuff and we help each other get better at WordPress. Now let's get into this malware video. This malware was discovered a little while ago. This post is from June 6th. I didn't find out about it until today. That's why I'm making this video today. Anyhow, WordFence has called this malware Yabba Yaga, and they have called it the WordPress malware that eats other malware, which sounds pretty funny, but it's also true. What this malware does, its primary functionality, the reason for its existence, is to insert spam pages on your site that have a lot of keywords, that get picked up by search engines, that then redirect people to the malware creator's affiliate offers. And if someone buys, the malware creator gets paid. What's unique about this malware is it does a couple of things other malwares don't do. One is this actually finds other malware on the site and can remove it. And if it wasn't for this being malware, that actually be a great feature. Like that is something this malware creator could actually create and sell as a plugin for WordPress, a plugin that removes malware. This plugin also goes ahead and updates WordPress and fixes WordPress as necessary. Because if WordPress isn't functioning, the malware can't function. If the malware can't function, then the creator can't make money through its affiliate offers. So this malware is actively maintaining and protecting your WordPress site so that it, the malware, can successfully do its job, which is make money for its creator. And that is the whole story about the malware. It's hard to find. WordFence also published a white paper, which I'm getting to. Here's a link to the white paper right here. I think there's one link at the top that I missed as well. And the white paper goes into a lot of detail. The first 13 or so pages are basically for industry people. So people who are in the security industry who need to know exactly how it works and how it functions and all that. What you and I really need to know is how to get rid of it. And that's all we need. So if we go down to page 14 of the white paper, and actually before we get to this, we should talk about how we identify it. So if you were to go to Google, for example, or another search engine works as well, I think Google works the best for this. If you type in site and then your domain name, so if we take our demo site here, and this will show all of the results in the search engines for this domain. There's currently one. So this domain is not infected because there's only one result and it's an uncategorized page. It's not a hacked page or anything. So if you do this check and you find there are tens of thousands of results, and if you know for a fact that you didn't create those pages and you're confused as to why they're there, it's likely some kind of malware has created spam pages on your site and it could be this one. If it is this one, it basically works through these files, either ipconfig.ini or cache.ini or utilities.js. And what's difficult is that these sound like real files. Often, I'm just gonna type in the address bar up here, you'll find malware files that look like this. And this is their file name. And if you read that, it's, it's gibberish, gibberish.php. Clearly, that is a bad file. That's not a file that any kind of legit programmer would create. However, ipconfig.ini, cache.ini, utilities.js, those sound pretty legitimate. I wouldn't know. 
Honestly, I wouldn't know if those were malware files. But through this, through this white paper, I would find out and I would check these files if I found them. And the way it includes the JS file, here's an example. It looks like a really legitimate way to include a utilities.js file. Like the, this is the include right here. It looks like a regular WordPress function, regular WordPress file, but it contains malicious code. And so you're going to find on your site, if you have this Yabba Yaga infection, one of these two and this one. And they both do the exact same thing. The, the hope is that if you find one, you don't find the other. And the malware can keep functioning. And this is what the code looks like when you open it. It is gibberish. You can't read it. It's not functional code. See so if I can zoom in a little bit here. Like no program in their right mind writes code like this. This is obfuscated. Obviously, they use uh, some kind of software to create crazy variables to replace the variables and functions that you have. So that when the developer writes this, it doesn't look like this. But the developer of the malware, his version of this code is totally clean and looks good. And then he runs it through a script that then makes it look like this. And we can't, or we have trouble deciphering what it actually means unless we're pros like a WordFence or other security firms, they can hack through that for hours and hours a day and actually figure out what it does. Here's some more tricky stuff they did. This list is kind of giving us a back door into how these malware creators think and how they operate. If there's a URL query string, so a URL is loaded and as part of the address bar, you have this is the test of the back door, then the malware prints out this code and that's basically confirming that it works. So a hacker could visit a site, add the query string, this is the test of the back door. This would not be a regular page that you'd find on your site or a regular page anybody else would visit but this would confirm to the malware creator that this site is infected. And then they could change the query string to I need this page and they will then load pages without running the malware. So they can go and do whatever it is they need to do on your site without being infected themselves. That's pretty tricky stuff. And really at the end of the day, if you detect this on your site, you need to delete find and delete one of these two file names, find, find and delete this file name, back up your site first, because you never know if those are the correct ones that you got. So back up your site, find those files, delete them, and then you should be clean, theoretically. And just to recap what this thing does, it creates a lot of SEO spam, and it basically spams search engines with content that will hopefully for the malware creator generate visitors that would then be sent to their affiliate offers and it's going to hurt your website in that Google is eventually going to detect that there's a bunch of spam on your site and they're going to kill your rankings. So go to Google, use this check site colon your domain name, see if there's a, a boatload of pages that shouldn't be there, find out what those pages are and see if you can figure out if it's this or a different malware. If you do find any of those, just leave me a message down below in the comments or send a message somewhere else in the Facebook group or wherever, and we'll see if we can figure out what the problem is. So that's how it works and how to find it on your site and hopefully how to remove it. And I, I hope you don't find it. I hope you never find something like this on your site. But if you do, leave a comment down below. I'll help you try to figure out how to solve it. Also join the Facebook group, link in the description, because we help each other try to solve stuff like this as well. So get over there if you have a problem and post some questions and we all help each other try to figure out solutions and click subscribe then the bell notification icon so you don't miss urgent videos like this and next up is not clicking one of these videos up on the right hand side next up is making sure that you're not infected by this malware and get in the facebook group so we can help each other and now keep crushing it until next time i'll see you in the next video